So, our mission statement, I won't read the whole thing, but we do a lot more than just make cool gifts. Um, we help customers find out about small businesses that they might not know about otherwise. Um, we pride ourselves on testing all the products first, so you know you're getting a quality product, not just something that's local. And then we um, try to help small businesses bond together um, and realize that the way that we can succeed over huge big box stores like Target and Walmart is not going to be through our prices, but it's going to be through working together. Um, we love to help young entrepreneurs. Um, we have a young entrepreneurs box that we release yearly. Um, the young entrepreneurs are encouraged to work with me directly. Um, sometimes their parents want to get involved too, and we also have to get parent permission, of course. Um, but we really work on their communication skills. They do their own pricing, they do their own packaging, and it's a really exciting way to work with the young people. Um, and then we also have some other mission statements too. Here are some photos of different baskets that we make. So you can see that we have things for everybody. We have things for men, women, non-binary people. We have things for kids, babies, housewarmings, all sorts of holidays. Um, one thing that I'm most excited about with my business is giving back to the community. So our program for that is called Small Businesses Make Hearts. Um, we were lucky to receive an awesome foundation grant that last year. Um, and with that, we've been purchasing items from small businesses up front like we do for all of our baskets, but each one sold donates a set amount to a local nonprofit in the area. Um, I started in 2000, uh, yeah, I started in 2020 in February, and last year was only my second year in business, and we were able to give over $700, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, we also have a lot of local causes in the area that do auctions, so we're often donating to auctions. I'm working on one for Camp Mill House, uh, Big Shepherd Montessori School, and um, I'm sure there are many more that can be this year. Um, and we always pay our vendor partners up front. Oh, here are some more of the local charities supported last year. And then a lot of my business is I consider it kind of a business and a service project. So the way that I'm serving besides the give backs is that I'm helping small businesses through links on our website. So each basket that you saw has um, everything itemized on the website. And with each itemized product listing, I have put a link directly to that vendor's website. So sometimes it probably does drive customers away from purchasing from me and just towards purchasing from the individual vendors if they just want one lip gloss, they might not want a whole basket. And I am more than fine with that. I don't charge for affiliate links or anything like that. I just want everyone to succeed together. Um, I also do tags on social media when I drop new baskets or custom baskets so people can see the wealth of talent that we have in the area. Um, word of mouth is my main marketing strategy. Uh, I'm really into learning the stories of all the members, why did they get started, um, what makes them unique, what makes them different from things that they can find in big box stores or even from other small local businesses. Uh, for example, I have multiple bakeries that are vendor partners from people coming in pastries to chips and doodles and I love to be able to help people discern which product is going to fit best um, with their aesthetic and for the recipient based on the stories and the ingredients and things like that. Um, we have a pop-up presence, but we are work-based. So we did 23 events last year. Um, I am working on getting small businesses to shift the mindset from me to me. And then I also have source guides in the basket. So I'll show you a little one that I brought for the giveaway today. So one of our giveaways today is going to be the XOXO, which is a great little Valentine's gift. It has a Dutch waffle company chocolate dip stroop waffle, which is delicious. And then two products of Soapy No and Goshen. And then in it, this is our little source guide. So it's wrapped up in mafia, it's embossed, so it looks really, everyone wants to know, what is that little thing in there? So customers are going to open it up and then see the uh, web presence for each of the individual businesses represented. So that way, if you get it as a gift and know nothing about what you just received, you can order more if you fall in love with the products. Okay, so last year I did 
been in the civil SPE and was really grateful for that opportunity. And I narrowed my target market down. I thought it was going to be busy professionals who didn't have time to shop. But it turns out my target market is actually people who really are passionate about shopping local and supporting small businesses. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, my baskets are middle to high end, so that's also the price range that I'm looking for. I love to work with corporations and businesses too. Um, last year we did uh, something up our regional partnership. We did Girls on the Run, um, and we've been working with some realtors. So any companies that you know of that might need gift baskets or care packages, we deliver in the area as well as ship. So if you can refer to me, that would be fantastic. Um, here are some other things that I am looking for, ways that you might be able to help if you have connections. Um, I am starting to outgrow my bedroom <laughs> in terms of storage space. So I live in the Sunny Meat neighborhood. I would love to have a workshop. Uh, it could just be a single room that I'm not living in. Um, and, you know, that way I can carry more products in my inventory and just have a nice space that's completely free of my dog's hair <laughs> and things like that for storage. I'm looking for extended pop-up opportunities. So if you were able to see Botany when it was in Fresh Cat or Time of Grace, or if you saw Ragamuffin Muffin when she was in Circa Arts, that's the kind of opportunity that I'm looking for. So not a single day or a single weekend pop-up, but a chance for me to put my products in an existing business to help drive more customers in, but be able to leave my things there to lock up overnight and just to have it set for mm, thinking about a month at a time, especially around the peak holidays. Uh, November, December is covered. I'm going to be a brand more at that point, but I'd love to be all over the city. Um, I'm always looking for vendor partners, so if you know any small businesses that fit our mission statement, that would be great. Again, I'm, uh, I care a lot about sustainability, about giving back to the community and being community-minded, and also social justice. So if you know companies that represent those ideals. That would be a great vendor partner for me. Um, I'm interested in expanding my subscription service. So if you know people who subscribe to you know, national boxes, but they might be looking to shop more locally, I have a coffee club, a Higgy subscription. I you have this because I always forget the whole list. I have a college student subscription and a bell box, which is made for St. Mary's students that has all female owned businesses represented. Um, and I also have a self-care and coffee subscription as well. Um, and then sharing on social media. I just, I'm starting to get into TikTok with my 14 year old self. Um, I also do Instagram and Facebook. I love to play an Instagram top photo contest. I aim to do it about once a week. And basically what I do is I take a picture at a local business and then I ask people to identify it. And the first person who gets the correct answer wins a coupon code or anything. All right, that's my whole spiel. So here is my social media and my website. And thank you very much.